Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Coleman Light LX 1605 FB. This is a great lightweight couples model. If you're looking for something a little bit smaller, this might be the unit for you folks. It comes in under 4,000 pounds. One of the things you'll notice right away is a lot of units this size will have a wall mount AC unit. This one has the roof mount. That's a 13.5 K BTU AC. On a hot day, this thing will keep it nice and cool in a hurry. You'll also see over to the side, you have hookups there for TV if you want TV in here. Main control panel there, and underneath that is your multimedia center. You will notice this has an HDMI input as well, and it does control the speakers, plus it is Bluetooth capable. As we wrap around to the side, as soon as you come in, you'll see this storage. This is a great big pantry area. And a coach this size, again, having a pantry of this uh, magnitude here is pretty impressive. A lot of times you're short on storage in a lighter weight coach, it's under 4,000 pounds, not necessarily the case here. We'll open this up for you, just like so. You'll see plenty of storage there, uh, cold storage. Dometic fridge freezer combo unit. You have a cutout for some of your taller items, drawer right down underneath. The unit does naturally run off both propane and electric, also has automatic switch over. And they did change it up a little. Um, you know, you'll see that the, the handle design is a little bit different than what they've had in the past. Still works very well. Over to this side is your the rest of your kitchen. And this, of course, is a rear kitchen floor plan. You can see how much countertop space you have. Nice thing about this is it is your seamless countertop. And what I mean by that, it's a, it's a thermal foil countertop. So you don't have any T-mold or anything like that. It allows you to undermount the sink for a much cleaner look. Plus, if you get a sink top cover, it almost makes it flush right here. So it gives you all that additional prep space. 60-40 split bowl sink, perfect for washing and rinsing dishes, plus the high-rise faucet. And over to this side is the recessed two burner cooktop with the glass cover again. So you have that as prep space. You have the decorative gray subway tile looking backsplash there electrical outlet to plug in coffee maker toaster whatever else you need led lights throughout storage up top you have the frosted panels microwave and hood right over to the side dropping down underneath you'll see plenty of drawer space even right here you know they, they did a really good job that's underneath that cooktop they still gave you a drawer you can see it just clears the slide there three more drawers so plenty of room uh, your direct vent furnace again that'll keep it nice and toasty in an rv this size and I love this too. Look at all the storage you get under the sink. There's plenty of room there for a trash can, which as I mentioned before, in an RV this size is not necessarily an easy thing to do. If we take a look at the slide out, it is a shallow slide. Now the nice thing about that is when the slide is in, you can definitely still reach the refrigerator if you have to pull over on the side of the road because it's right there. But because it's a shallow slide, you still have a walkway to the bathroom. And I know that's important to a lot of people. For clothes hanging space, this one has a wardrobe. A lot of times when you have the front bed where it's not a walk around bed, it's a, like an east to west bed, you don't get a lot of clothes storage. But this one, they did build the wardrobe in there for you. A couple more drawers and you can see the U-shaped dinette. Now this is uh, somewhat unique because you can uh, remove these cushions if you want. You'll see there's a little bit of storage underneath there. but. You know, I personally like having the cushions on there. It just gives you a little more space. And you know, if someone wants to sit there, it's kind of like a little jump seat almost. The table here as well, it is removable. If you want to take this out to, to have more walking space through here, if you just want to sit there, if you want to take it outside, you can certainly do that. It does drop down into a bed as well. You can see the uh, cushions there that will go on top just to give you a, a little additional sleeping space if you do have some guests that need to stay the night. I'll take you through the bathroom real quick, and then we'll take a look up front. Uh, if we move into the bathroom here. So again, for being a smaller RV, it's actually pretty impressive how much space I have while sitting on the toilet. I have more than enough leg room, good shoulder space. My right arm touches a little bit on the right here, but plenty on the left. Countertop comes over, so you have good countertop space right next to electrical outlet. Two storage areas right down below where most bathrooms, you only have the single, plus again, enough room for a bathroom trash can, which I really like. Right up top, mirrored medicine cabinet, storage behind that, of course, your vent in here. And then this one does have the tub shower. So I'll take a step in here. At six foot tall, you can see I just clear the ceiling. If you're any taller, you'll have to bend down. But at six foot, folks, I can stand up here no problem, which is great. And of course, you have the hand wand, makes showering up a little bit easier. 
Now, as we make our way right outside of that, you will see the thermostat. This, of course, is just for the furnace because the AC controls were on the AC unit itself. Storage all the way across the top. That does have the uh, uh, frosted glass on there as well. And if we drop down, we'll see the bed. Plus, right up front, you also have a headboard with some additional storage. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Coleman Light LX 1605 FB. Up front is your power tongue jack. Of course, this makes it easy to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle because you have a rocker switch to uh, lift that up and down. Actually, it's this one over here. The one right next to it is for your light for added visibility at night, and you have a manual override in the rare event it fails. Behind that, two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover. You will also see rails here for your battery and diamond dutch plating up the front, helping to protect that front end from rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Right around to the side is solar prep, so if you want solar, simply buy portable panels plug it in right there it'll trickle charge your battery and if we take a look whoops do that again here one more time at the front storage uh, you will see plenty of room so uh, it's a pretty decent sized door you might not be able to fit like your biggest chairs or anything in there but you can still fit a decent amount and uh, it's the same size all the way through so whatever you do put in there you can get out on the other side right next to that is your stabilizer jack it's power stabilizers Remember folks, this is not auto level. You do not want to use those to uh, try to level out the RV. You will break them. But once you do have it leveled out, you can just use this control. It'll operate the two front jacks, put those stabilizer arms down. Uh, that way the RV won't be rocking around as you're moving around inside. Your fresh tank fill right over to this side here. Nice big fresh tank on here, over 40 gallons. So if you plan on going somewhere and you don't have city water, this one will provide a lot more water than others in the class. Up above that's your power awning, touch button, roll that out, same thing to go right back in, plus the LED light strip on there. You'll see two outside speakers. Those are connected to that multimedia center inside that I showed you, but as I mentioned, that unit is Bluetooth capable. You have your standard two fold-out steps with your grab handle for some added control there. You will see your electrical outlet right out back if you need to plug anything in. Coming around to the back, square tubular bumper with end caps give you convenient space to store the sewer hose. The control for the rear two stabilizer jacks are on the back right here. Mounted to the bumper is the spare tire, making it very easy to access. And up top, you will see backup camera prep. So that way, installing a backup camera is less, uh, less expensive because labor will be cheaper. Coming around to this side, your 30 amp power cord is here. Cable inlet, city water inlet is located right next to that. And if you drop down, you will see this one actually has two termination points. Your gray tank is right back here with the valve. And then in front of the axle is your black tank and the valve is located there as well. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Coleman Light LX 1605 FB. Up front is your power tongue jack. Of course, this makes it easy to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle because you have a rocker switch to uh, lift that up and down. Actually, it's this one over here. The one right next to it is for your light for added visibility at night. And you have a manual override in the rare event it fails. Behind that, two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover. You will also see rails here for your battery and diamond dutch plating up the front, helping to protect that front end from rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Right around to the side is solar prep. So if you want solar, simply buy portable panels, plug it in right there, it'll trickle charge your battery. And if we take a look, whoops, do that again here, one more time at the front storage, uh, you will see plenty of room. So uh, it's a pretty decent sized door. You might not be able to fit like your biggest chairs or anything in there, but you can still fit a decent amount and uh, it's the same size all the way through, so whatever you do put in there, you can get out on the other side. Right next to that is your stabilizer jack, it's power stabilizers. Remember folks, this is not auto level. You do not want to use those to uh, uh, try to level out the RV. You will break them, but once you do have it leveled out, you can just use this control. It'll operate the two front jacks, put those stabilizer arms down. Uh, that way the RV won't be rocking around as you're moving around inside. Your fresh tank fill right over to this side here. Nice big fresh tank on here, over 40 gallons. So if you plan on going somewhere and you don't have city water, this one will provide a lot more water than others in the class. Up above that's your power awning. Touch button, roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. Plus the LED light strip on there. You'll see two outside speakers. Those are connected to that multimedia center inside that I showed you, but as I mentioned, that unit is Bluetooth capable. You have your standard two fold-out steps with your grab handle for some added control there. You will see your electrical outlet right out back if you need to plug anything in. Coming around to the back, square tubular bumper with end caps give you convenient space to store the sewer hose. 
The control for the rear two stabilizer jacks are on the back right here. Mounted to the bumper is the spare tire, making it very easy to access. And up top, you will see backup camera prep, so that way installing a backup camera is less, uh, less expensive because labor will be cheaper. Coming around to the side, your 30 amp power cord is here. Cable inlet, city water inlet is located right next to that. And if you drop down, you will see this one actually has two termination points. Your gray tank is right back here with the valve. And then in front of the axle is your black tank and the valve is located there as well. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2020 Coleman Light LX 1605 FB. If you're interested in this small, lightweight Kumpels model and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.